Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the examples on Laplace transforms. In last class we discussed what is the definition of Laplace transform and some conditions and working procedure for the problems which are of the form where f of t is given of the form f of t is equal to f1 of t where t lies between 0 and a and f2 of t where t lies between a and b f3 of t where t is greater than b means here f of t is a composed of different functions here procedure is first we have to consider the basic definition uh, of Laplace that is L of f of t is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt next step is we have to replace the given limits after that we have to substitute the re relevant f of t which is given in our examples after that to solve that integrals we have to use the Bernoulli's rule let us see the examples this is the first one find L of f of t where f of t is equal to t where t is lies between 0 and 4 phi where t is greater than 4 here f of t is composed of two function that is t and phi here t lies between 0 and 4 and it is phi when it is phi then t is greater than 4 first step is we have to consider the basic definition of Laplace that is L of f of t is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt then next one is we have to take the limits here limits is 0 to 4 and uh, t is greater than 4 means it is 4 to infinity therefore replace l of f of t is equal to integration from 0 to 4 e raised to minus st f of t dt plus integration from 0 uh, sorry 4 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt next is we have to substitute the relevant f of t here for this one f of t is t and for the next integral f of t is phi we have to substitute this one like this <coughs> e raised to minus st here first t is f of t is t dt plus integration from 4 to infinity e raised to minus st then next one is phi into dt next we have to solve this one we have to use Bernoulli's equation here uh, before using Bernoulli's equation we know that if f of t is a polynomial in t then we have to write integration e raised to minus infinity f of t dt to integration f of t e raised to minus t dt means here we have to change this integral in into this one here it is e raised to minus st f of t dt we have to change this to integration from integration f of t e raised to minus st into dt here we have to change e raised to sorry integration from 0 to 4 t e raised to minus st dt plus here phi is constant take outside the integration it will be integration from 4 to infinity e raised to minus st dt after that we have to apply the Bernoulli's rule this is we know that here inter, uh, integration u into v dt is equal to this is the rule here u is differentiating part and v is integrating part in the same way here we have to take t as a differentiating part and v and v as e raised to minus st that is e raised to minus st is a integrating part follow the Bernoulli's rule here first one is t as it is means differentiating part as it is integrate this one we get e raised to minus st divided by minus s because integration of e raised to minus e raised to st is e raised to st divided by s here it is minus therefore it is to minus st divided by minus here s here limits from t is equal to 0 to 4 next is next sign is minus after that we have to differentiate this t differentiation of this t with respect to t is 1 then again integrate this one not this one again integrate this one we get e raised to minus st 
divided by minus s as it is then again e raised to minus s t integration is 1 divided by e raised to minus s t divided by minus s here also limits from 0 to 4 next is next this one this is plus this is over here because when we again when we differentiate this one differentiation differentiation of 1 is 0 0 into something is 0 so stop here only next uh, for the next integral is phi, phi plus phi as it is this one here simply 1 uh, e raised to minus st means it is 1 into e raised to minus st simply integrate this one e raised to minus st divided by minus s and limits are 4 to infinity for the second integral we get only one part because when we different uh, integrate again means when we apply Bernoulli's rule for the next term here it is 1 means differentiation of 1 is 0 0 into something is 0 so stop here only next we have to apply the limits you know how to apply the limits here 1 by s is constant because we are applying limits for t it will be upper limit for e raised to minus 4 so 4 s because t is 4 e raised to minus 4 s minus lower limit t is 0 0 into something is 0 then this minus here minus s into minus is s square take s square outside only e raised to minus st e raised to upper limit is 4 e raised to minus 4s minus e raised to 0 into s is 0 e raised to 0 is 1 therefore e raised to minus 4s minus 1 next for this one plus 5 into here my take s outside it will be minus s e raised to minus e raised to minus s into infinity minus e raised to lower limit is 4 therefore e raised to minus 4 s e raised to minus s into infinity is and anything into infinity is infinity therefore e raised to infinity value is we know that e raised to infinity value is 0 e raised to 0 value is 1 therefore minus 1 divided by s 4 e raised to minus 4 s it is minus 0 minus 1 divided by s square e raised to minus 4s minus 1 plus next term here it is 5 divided by minus 1 plus into minus it will be minus 5 by s yes, 0 minus e raised to minus 4s now simplify the terms we get l of f of t is equal to minus 4 e raised to minus 4s divided by s minus e raised to minus 4s divided by s square plus 1 divided by s square plus 5 into e raised to minus 4s divided by s because minus 1 divided minus 1 by s into 4 e raised to minus s is minus 4 e raised to minus s divided by s minus uh, e raised to minus 4 s divided by s square minus into minus plus it will be plus 1 by s square next is here it is 0 minus into minus plus therefore 5 e raised to minus 4 s divided by s square next is see here minus 4 e raised to minus 4 s divided by s here it is plus 5 e raised to minus s divided by s we get e raised to minus 4 s divided by s next is plus s square then minus e raised to minus 4 s 
divided by s here both are same here minus 4 e raised to minus s divided by s here plus 5 e raised to minus s divided by s we get only e raised to minus s e raised to minus 4 s divided by s plus 1 by s square minus e raised to 4 s divided by s square next is e raised to minus 4 s divided by s here 1 by s square 1 by s square is common take outside 1 by s square here it is 1 minus e raised to minus 4 s this is the laplace transform of f of r t you can write like this 1 by s into e raised to minus 4 s plus 1 by s square into 1 minus e raised to minus 4s this is the laplace transform of given function f of t like this you have to solve the problems you must have to remember the bernoulli's rule here after that you have to practice all the integra integration formulas to solve the further examples this is the first example uh, listen carefully and understand if you understand this one means you have to easily solve the further examples